This is our last sale of the year, it's our December sale, and traditionally now we hold back some of the wines and spirits that we, we accumulate from clearing houses throughout the year. And so in our December sale we always have a nice selection of vintage wines and spirits and so on. But we have general antiques here, we've got some wonderful silver, porcelain, glass, watches, jewellery, rugs, furniture, collectibles, you name it. If it's personal property and valuable, chances are we'll be selling it. Now there's no shortage of nice metal groups coming out of the, the ports of Eric given our long maritime tradition, but this is a particularly rare and unique metal group that belonged to a pretty much unsung local polar hero. Now, it all began with a guy called Bernard James Stone, who joined the Royal Navy in about 1900. He served during the Boer War. Uh, he also served during the First World War, but in between the Boer War and the First World War, he received a discharge from the Royal Navy to join Captain Robert Falcon Scott on his fated last expedition to the Antarctic in 1910 to 1913. Now, as most people know, Captain Scott and his six-man, seven-man, including himself, party never returned. But Bernard James Stone did return. His job was he was in charge of the engines on the Terra Nova, the ship that got them there and had to break through the ice. And he, with three other leading stokers, it was their job to keep that engine running at all times. She only had one screw steam engine, and that had to break her through the ice. So it was a very, very important role. Now, we were contacted by a direct descendant of uh, Bernard James Stone, his granddaughter, and asked us if we would be interested in selling this rather unique co collection. Now, me as a, as a military and maritime fan, I love things like this, so I was really, really excited and couldn't contain myself at the prospect I was going to be handling this medal group. And what we have here is his... Uh, Queen Victoria South Africa medal, the Queen's medal for the Boer War. We've then got his World War I medals, including his 1914-1915 star, his Victory Medal and his Great War Medal, and his Long Service Good Conduct Medal there. And right in the centre here we have the Polar Medal. Now this is the most important medal in the group. It's got the bar there for Antarctic 1910 to 1913. Very rare medal indeed. Any of the Shaw Party and Scott's actual expedition, they would have received silver versions of this, uh, and the crew and ship's company all received bronze medals as well. We also have the Royal Geographical Society bronze Scott Memorial Medal. Again, this was only given to members of the expedition. There were around 65 of them in total, including Scott and his party. Um, and so these themselves are, are pretty rare items. And we can see on the reverse, we've got there his ski party there, beautifully cast and, uh, and worked there. And on the other sides, you have the bus there of Captain Robert Falcon Scott. So really, really nice thing. Also in the collection is this wonderful memorial plaque, very rare item, only given to the men of the uh, of the actual uh, expedition, and it includes this wonderful picture of Robert Scott inside, Captain Scott, and this memorial plaque to the other side. Researching this, we can only find two other examples that have ever come up at auction, and the last one that actually sold was sold for three and a half thousand pounds just for this here. Furthermore, we have this great wedding photograph here and right in the center there you've got Bernard James Stone there and standing behind him is Arthur Bailey who was also part of the expedition he was part of the shore party so he would have received a silver polar medal group and there's Bernard Stone there with his bronze medal on his uh, uniform fantastic picture these two were actually cousins Bernard Stone born in Portsmouth Arthur Bailey up in Princeton just near Emswell so it was a really fantastic collection lots of international interest. We're hoping this lot here is going to make around £5,000, but certainly I'm unlikely to ever see the like of it again.